Good afternoon, thanks for being here. Okay, well, uh, I am Sam Dressel with my co-anchor, insert nondescript name here. Uh, how are you doing today? Great, so, in today's video, a long-awaited FY23 National Defense Authorization Act 8311 was passed with President Biden's signature. Taking effect last month, we now have a first glimpse of what the DOD's strategic plan to deal with the news of regarding polyfluoroalkyl, or PFAS as it's more commonly known. Uh, this is substance is oftentimes described as a waterproof, greaseproof, grease -proof, and as having non-stick properties that make it ideal for firefighting. However, this effectiveness does come with a steep cost to the health of our DOD firefighters. Can you see this thing? That's great for our DOD firefighters, right, co-anchor? This comes after the last few decades of contamination from PFAS and has grown to a serious global health... Wow! <laughs> so, according to the research published by Environmental International, PFAS commonly found in large quantities of AFFF firefighting foam and firefighting gear has been directly linked to harmful health implications like cancer, immune system dysfunction, dysfunction uh, liver damage, hormone disruption, and developmental and reproductive harm. I'm not sure why that's a good thing, co-anchor. The DOD created AFFF and for decades they've been the largest PFOS polluter. Our firefighters have been exposed to this deadly chain of chemicals for a long time. They already risked so much for us protecting us, and now the United States are finally taking them into consideration. Like, really? Yes, go off and go anchor, that is great news. Although AFFF has superior firefighting properties, the DOD will have a hard time finding an equivalent replacement. According to the DOD, they have they released their strategic plan on phasing out all PFOS-laden AFFF at all land-based facilities by October 1st, 2024, and all PFOS-infused firefighting gear by no later than October 1st, 2026. Currently, to meet the newly announced DOD military specifications, or MILSPEC, manufacturers are going to have their work cut out for themselves to continue to sell to the DOD. The DoD mil spec foam will have to go undergo extensive testing by the U.S. Navy NAFC command. With the new rules, manufacturers will also have to meet a one part per billion or less of PFOS as set by Congress. One source indicated that will be near impossible. Wow! Currently, the DOD is putting their money where their mouth is and authorizing $1.2 billion for cleaning up contaminated military sites, in addition, $11 million for research in the PFOS field, and transference of $20 million to the Department of Health and Human Services to study health effects of contaminated water on military installations. This part of the strategic plan has, a, has at least passed its greatest hurdle first. In other news... Attention, incoming alert. Okay, bye. Good afternoon, insert city name here. <laughs> you can't laugh. Impossible. All right, can we redo that last part? Yes. Not sure why that's a great, good thing for, ah, no. uh, this <laughs> oh. <laughs> That is too long to hold it. <laughs> Wow! That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, triple F, superior firefighting. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow!
<laughs> the DOD created ARF, AFFF, plan for on phasing out PFAS. Yep. <laughs> they already risk so much keeping to protect, keeping up to protect. Fuck. Twenty-three national fun. The that by the U.S. Navy's Nav C command with the new rule as set by the Congress. The Congress. What the DoD strategic? <laughs> oh my God! You were rolling so good. In other news. Yeah.